hello what's up youtube running with another color grading tutorial and in this tutorial i'll show you guys how i do color grading in capture one so i've been getting so many questions in my inbox or in my dm about how i did the color grading for the series of this particular portrait that i recently posted on instagram by the way if you're watching this tutorial and haven't liked this video yet kindly and kindly hit the like button so that YouTube can recommend this video to yet more people out there. Let me just give you a moment to hit the like button on this video. Well, if you're done, then let's go on and start learning about how I do color grading in Capture One. And this version of Capture One I'm using is Capture One 21. So I think it is their latest version of Capture One. So I'll show you guys what I usually do. And before I can proceed make sure you import your image and in order to import the image you know what to do we have the import option so when you hit it you have to choose the folder where you want to or from which you want to import your images but since i already have this imported into my for my capture one rather i'll show you guys my routine so usually you may be wondering why my capture one is looking like this and maybe why the one you're having is looking a little bit different so in order to have the capture one settings or sliders on the right hand side you can simply come right to window and come to workspace then you come to migration you are going to be having them uh, the way i do have them right here so just want to color grade this image yeah i hope you can see this is the after and this is the before so just want to transform this image from looking like this is the before and this is uh, the after so uh, let me hope you guys have already liked this video so le let me just come and i reset everything or every single adjustment done to this image i'm just going to come and turn off the before and after so that you can see everything in real time right here so usually for my images this is a raw file, as you can see, it was taken using my Canon 6D camera and at ISO 116 it was around 2pm and the sun was too much. So I shot it at F5 to have so much detail as you can see how sharp this image is. So usually I, I come to, like in Capture One we have different backgrounds or different layers. You can work with layers in Capture One and as you can see right now, I am on the background layer so on the background layer, that's when I oh that's where I do the basic adjustments to the images so the very first thing I do is simply coming all the way down so when I come down here I have the option which says base characteristics so under the ICC profile I have the camera and I'm just going to change it from this from the generic to pro standard I hope you can see that this is really going to get rid of most of the magentas in the skin tones of the model. And after doing that, the next thing is going to be coming to the basic adjustments. So this is where I do the very first process or processing of the images. So what I did for this particular image, I simply came to the highlights and I knocked them all the way down just like that. Then what I did next was coming to my blacks and also slightly pushing them down to around negative 9. Then I also did the same for the whites. I just knocked them down just like that to around, I think that is fine. Then I also came to my shadows. Then I pushed the shadows, just opened them up. I know this really makes the image look a little bit brighter but don't mind about it because we are going to be fixing that later on so the image is brighter the shadows have been opened up then what next is that the image is lacking contrast so i'm just going to come the contrast and push in the contrast just like that around i think seven can do for this image and that is where we are right now but i feel like the image is a little bit overexposed so I'm just going to come and slightly knock down the exposure for this particular 
a portrait so just going to knock it down even more i think right there we are good to go and the image is now getting uh, the contrast it was meant to uh, be with so the next thing i'm going to do is coming down here under the clarity slider and i'm just going to add some little bit of clarity and what this does it sharpens the image or adds a little bit of more detail into the image then i'm going to come to the levels right here and in order to add more contrast into for example my shadows or my blacks i'm just going to click and move this into around four and i think uh, that looks fine so let's see the progress so far for this image so let's say before and after so this was the image initially before and this is the after before after and right now we just want to do the color grading on this particular image so in order to do the color grading before you can even do anything like i said at the start of this tutorial we have to first create layers for this particular image so so that we can change the color adjustments later on if at all we feel like we have overdone too much or we have done too much in the color grading process for this particular image so we're just going to come to the layer option right here and you're just going to right click here and come and create a new field adjustment layer so you can rename this to whatever you want maybe color grade just like that i'm just going to hit enter and this is why we or this is the layer on which you are going to be doing the color grading for the skin tones and maybe the background of this particular image. So what we are going to do, we are just going to come down here where it says color editor. So under color editor we have basic, advanced and skin tone. So we are just going to start from the basic and under basic I only want to target as a green color in the image because I want to tweak all I had to tweak the colors in the green area of the image so I simply moved the hues all the way up to around I think that was fine for it and what I did I also reduced on the saturation because I felt like it was going to take the attention from it was going to take the attention away from the model so I left it right there then I simply pushed up the lightness just a little bit. And that is what I did for the green color in this particular image. So the very next thing I did for this image is coming to the skin tone area. So I simply came and clicked to the skin tone right here. And under skin tone, when you select it, you simply have to come and click on your color picker tool. So this is the color picker tool so that you can pick and have a uniform skin tone. So you can use the same method if at all you want to even out the makeup. Maybe the face of the model is not trying to blend with the rest of the body after they have done makeup on the model. So you have to get the color picker tool and you have to come and sample. So I'm just going to use command plus or control plus. So I just want to sample the area of the skin that I want. The rest of uh, the models face to look like so i'm just going to come and i'm going to click right here so i, I simply want the rest of the model skin to look like this particular area and when i do that i'm just going to press command minus to zoom out so when I, I i sample that area you can see when i turn this on you can see that i have sampled the skin area of the model and this area contains the reds yellows and oranges so when I turn this off, you can see that we have sampled that particular color. So I'm just going to come all the way up. So I want to target more of the oranges. So I'm just going to reduce on the range from the red slightly. And when I'm done doing that, the next thing is going to be unifying or having a uniform color in the skin tone of the model. So what I did, I came to the uniformity and I moved the hues just all the way up just like that and I pushed it all the way to around 80 and you can see that the skin tone was now getting to look a little bit better then I also pumped up the saturation for this particular image and I think right there was fine then I left the lightness the way it is 
so here we are right now but i felt like the image was a little bit warm or too warm so what i had to do i came to the kelvins or the temperature and i simply reduce on the warmth to around 40 like 4763 and that is all i did when i was color grading this particular image so let's see a before and after so let's see this was the image after and this is the before after before after before after so what i did next was exporting the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching on this particular portrait so let's see how you can export the image after you have color graded it so i'm not going to be doing the skin retouching in this tutorial this has been about how i do the color grading and like i said i'm just going to turn this off you can see the before and after for the color grading and when you feel like it is too much make sure the layer is selected and you can reduce on the opacity of the color grading like we do in photoshop so i'm just going to leave everything at 100 percent so after you have color graded and you want to retouch the image into photoshop you simply have to come to image and you come to edit with and you select photoshop because i use photoshop 2020 i prefer to leave the format in tiff and i prefer 16 bit so you can choose whichever format that you want but i prefer tiff which is of course uncompressed and the icc profile is adobe rgb 98 I leave the resolution the way it is 300 pixels or the inches and I leave the scale fixed then I simply come to edit variants and it is going to open the image into Photoshop so basically this is all for all, all I did when I was doing the color grading for this particular image in Photoshop and it is more of my color grading routine in capture one for images so this is the image after it has been brought into Photoshop and you can see it is a TIFF file and it is a 16-bit image like we set it up. So if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial, don't forget to like this video and I would say this again, like this video so that YouTube can push it to more people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography, thank you for watching and if at all you'd love to learn more about Capture One later on, you can simply let me know in the comment section and i'll see you in yet another tutorial and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating